So guys, up at Roslyn Lee this morning and it's really windy day. It's to get worse as the day goes on, but yeah, we sheltered spot here for now, but I think it's going to have to be a day where I move about a lot, so probably be most of my footage on the GoPro today. Hopefully, if I catch fish, so yeah, let's get to it. So guys, this was me starting my day and the best thing about a bad weather forecast is as you can see, I had the whole fishery to myself, which was nice, plenty of options where to go. So I started off basically down in the sort of more sheltered area. Now, it wasn't too bad to begin with, but I knew the wind was going to pick up quite a lot. So I fully expected to work my way up to where the wind was blowing, up at the dam wall area. Um, but to begin with, I just started off down here. Um, didn't actually connect with any fish at all down this spot. Um, so clearly food been blowing up the top and the fish were following that. So the tactics that I was thinking through when I arrived was it's windy so quite often the wind pushes the fish down a little bit in the water. Um, it wasn't overly hot, wasn't overly cold so I wouldn't expect them to be too deep. So my kind of thought process was potentially on a midge tip, that kind of line, um, and try and search and try and find out where they were in the water. So, as I say, started off in the sheltered part here um, and gradually worked my way up the water to where the wind was blowing. After about half an hour or so at that first spot I moved on and the wind was already starting to pick up um, and yeah tried for a bit in this location and again didn't even get a knock so varied the levels I was fishing um, but I, I didn't go too much because I kind of knew I was working my way up to the top as I say I expected them not to be too deep but potentially not feeding at the surface and um, as you can see I soon gave up on using my tripod to try and film because this just kept happening. This was me now right up in the top corner and the wind was in full force. There was one other guy um, had turned up and then all of a sudden the heavens opened and um, then to be fair the guy after 20 minutes just called it quits and away he went so fishery to myself again. I was using my real six foot bench tip line um, with just two flies, seven and a half feet and eight feet. And that just got me just underneath the surface where I wanted to be. And I had a little snatcher on the dropper and one of my new damsels on the point. Now, these damsels have really been doing the business for me. Um, and they've got a nice little bit of weight about them. They're quite heavy. And when I'm on a midge tip line, it just means that point fly is fishing a bit deeper. Um, I've got my dropper that little bit higher in the water. And yeah, I just I find it's nice, especially when searching for fish or if you're fishing in amongst specific areas. Just having that point fly a little bit weighted um, gets me down where I want to be. Um, so yeah, fished here and it didn't take long before I started getting results. Guys, nice and quick into the net. <laughs> Beautiful little trout, that. Nice little trout, that. Just... 
So that fish was caught on the snatcher and it was actually the second fish I'd caught. The first fish I caught on a damsel when it was pouring the rain and on reviewing the GoPro footage it was, um, yeah, you couldn't see a thing. So, great start to the day and I just wanted to change up the, f the point fly here. Basically I've been tying a few new patterns and yeah, I knew there was fish here so I just changed up the point fly to see how that got on. Give me fish. Let's get them back. There you go. So at this point, I decided to change the method a bit just to try and show how to catch fish using a different method and switched over to using the bung. Um, so the setup was nine foot to the bung, um, three foot to the first fly and three foot to the next fly. I was using just a normal bung because I didn't have any um, that, that I'd tied up myself and an egg on the dropper and a shrimp pattern on the point. It didn't take long after using this method to go into a fish, as you can see, a nice little jump there. Um, and there was quite a lot of weeds under the water in this area and the fish were just hanging about in this area maybe about three foot down um, and yeah I was able to just cast the bung out suspend the flies and just drift them nicely um, in areas of the weed beds and the grass under the water and yeah proved very effective and definitely a good way to fish in and amongst weed beds you can get your flies caught um, more often than not on weed which you still effectively fish that way but um, another good method is yeah using the bunk that way you can specifically drift your your flies at a certain depth in a certain area and yeah can be a killer method my GoPro battery actually just ran out as I got this fish to the net but changed my battery cast out with the bung again um, and again didn't take long to get into another fish um, I had changed the uh, the colour of the egg just for a bit of a variety and actually this fish um, took the egg so yeah very effective especially when it's windy um, you can sometimes if it's too windy the bunk can move too fast so for example if I was wanting to fish buzzers um, under a under an indicator or bung I prefer to do that when it's not so windy but with patterns like this um, I can just cast it out, let it drift round into the areas where I, th I think the fish are hanging out and yeah, it proves very effective.
So another fish to the net and yeah, you don't really mind fishing in these awkward spots when the weather's not the best when you're getting fish and we're certainly fish in this area so I had a great day and yeah brilliant to have a fishery to yourself a lot of people this time of year when it starts getting worse weather will tend not to go I think maybe the novelty's worn off after lockdown was restricted everywhere was really busy and heaving but yeah it actually turned out to be a decent day I mean it was windy but it's not that bad conditions and as you can see it brightened up a bit later on and was quite pleasant so enjoyed my session and ended up with six fish and yeah was more than happy with that really what my go-to when it's this type of weather where it's that wee bit windy is i tend to have a midge tip on straight away trying to second guess where the fish are going to be but um, a, a lot a lot of people find it hard when they're starting out fishing or learning um, is how to locate where the fish are and you kind of get used to second guessing it based on the conditions and then um, yeah another great way to try and find out how deep they are is using the bung a lot of people don't like using the bung but had many discussions on the topic with other people and there's actually a bit of finesse to using a bung which you wouldn't think um i would say it's probably but there's it's not any easier method than pulling lures through the water so yeah don't be scared to fish the bung and that can be a great way of finding what depth the fish are at you're suspending them at sp specific depths um so if you're having a bit of a bit of trouble f finding the fish stick the bung on with a few flies at different depths and you'll know when a fish takes one of them what depth they're at and you can then even change your method to try and think well i'll go into an intermediate and try and count down to that level to see if i can connect with fish that way and it's a good way sort of getting used to using countdown methods um, locating fish in the water um, yeah use the bung to begin with to get an idea of where they're where they're feeding now you'll not always get fish obviously but it can be a good way to try and um, hone in that that method so guys i hope you enjoyed the video and i'll see you again soon cheers